Hi, and welcome back. We've just finished up um, setting up our contact form and uploading our site to a server and testing it on out. And what we want to go ahead and do now is customize the page that we land on after we submit a form. If I go ahead and open up form to email.php here and go into design view, you can see here was the um, basic form that was inserted here or was the message that was inserted here after we clicked the submit button and we want this to look like our site not like um, not just like the standard uh, default page here so to do that is fairly simple what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to files and I'm just going to pick my index page here because it's right there and I'm going to go into code view and we haven't gone into code view very often, but what I want you to do is I want you to click anywhere here and do select all. You can do that from the edit menu or control A works. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this code. I'm going to close this out and now I'm back here on my form to email.php script. And again, we can't just copy that uh, that code over this existing text we need to actually go into the code and do it there and if you scroll all the way down to the beginning of your file somewhere around line 220 we have a doc type statement here and we need to go ahead and delete everything in between where it says doc type here and whatever comes after that all the way down to HTML so when we delete that we should be left with just this then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the code in that we copied from our index file. So I'll go ahead and paste that, save it, and let's go ahead and check this out in design view and you can see sure enough there is our page. Now we don't want a duplicate of our home page so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and highlight all this text and delete it. I'll leave a little bit there and I'm going to go ahead and change the title to thank you for your message and again we can see how we could add whatever text we want after that now the one thing you definitely need to include on the page is a link back to the guy who wrote that script he gives it away and the only thing he asks for is um, a link on your uh, thank you page to give him credit for his work um, and that's only fair so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to files and I actually copied and pasted or copied this a little bit earlier into just an untitled document. And that way I can copy it by simply right clicking and copying it. And then I can come back into my form mail, click and paste. So we get that in there. Now go ahead and hit save and I'm going to go ahead and upload this document again. So I'm going to come here to my file management and there's the put option and that will put whatever the current document is. And before we went over to files and we right clicked and we could select put. And we did the entire file last time. But either way, any way you select that you just have to put that to the server and I'll say yes for dependent files again and now it's going to upload that there. So let's go ahead and close that on out. I want to open my browser up again and go to my test page. And I'm going to go to my contact page. And there's my contact page. I'm just going to go ahead and su click submit. We haven't added any form validation here. And again, you can do that pretty easily with JavaScript. But I'll just go ahead and click submit here. And you're going to see it comes up. Thank you for your message. So that document comes up instead of the uh, earlier message and then they could use any of the links they want to over here to go back to home or about or wherever they want to uh, go in your site so that's a really simple and quick way to customize the um, confirmation page on that script